Today we're going to take a look at Found North Cast Strength Rye Whiskey. What up guys? Uh, hey, welcome to F&G Whiskey. Today we've got a different bottle for you. Uh, this is a Found North Cast Strength Rye Whiskey single barrel and it is finished in cognac barrels. So this is distilled in Canada. Um, grain on this is 60% or 66% rye, 30% corn and 4% barley, uh, coming in at 116 proof. So it's definitely a uh, high on the proof scale. And, uh, this is season one barrel six. So, um, I got this online. Found North is kind of blowing up right now. As far as the bourbon community, I wish I would have found a bourbon actually, uh, spoiler alert. When I ordered this, I thought it was a bourbon. So when I got it, I was a little disappointed because I'm not the biggest rye guy, but I was, I was, we'll let you know what I think about it. So let's get into this bad boy. So there is a licor licorice note, black licorice. It really takes over the glass. Candy black licorice is majority of what I'm getting on this. Yeah, I, I don't get much else. So as far as the nose, um, if you like that black licorice, then, then this is going to be the nose for you. Um, season recipe, it says it's a 19-year-old rye, a 12-year-old rye, and a 21-year-old corn. Huh. Interesting. This is bottle number 139. Anyway, I'm hearing really good stuff about Found North, so let's get into this. So, very, very herbal, almost medicinal-like, and just like the nose, I'm getting that black licorice note, a little bit of rice spice, um, but there's, there's kind of a lingering on the tongue, but not much of a finish on the back end. Um, kind of two or three notes that I'm getting there. It's like the barrel spice, the licorice, and to tell you the truth, that's then, then the rice spice. So the barrel, there's a little bit of like a cinnamon note, barrel spice, the cinnamon, barrel spice, sorry. Um, and then the rice spice and then that licorice. And that's pretty much everything I'm getting on this. The herbalness is starting to come forward on the nose. I think I paid somewhere in the 90 to hundred range for this bottle. And again, I did buy it because I thought it was a bourbon. Um, one of the specials was like buy three, get three. And this was one of the bottles I got with it. And this was one of the last ones I opened up. And to tell you the truth, uh, it wasn't until I opened it up that I realized it was a rye. So, it is very flavorful. I'll give it that. Um, but you're only getting those about those three notes. Rye spice, barrel spice, and black licorice maybe, maybe a wintergreen kind of note, spearmint that's kind of lingering. Um, so if you're into that for rice, I would highly recommend this. Uh, personally, I wish I would've got a bourbon, but um, yeah, would I buy this again? No. Um, but it's just because I have it and it's unique. And I, I think the flavors are good, but it's, I'm not a huge rye guy. And so, if you're into rise, I think this is going to be up your wheelhouse because it's got three or four really heavy bursts. And I mean, they hit hard. They really punch. And so it's good flavor. Um, as you can see, the color is pretty light on it. Eh, there's, it's about golden brown. Um, but yeah, would I buy it again? No. Do I regret buying it? No, I think this is actually really well done. I don't, I don't know what the cognac is supposed to come out in this. Maybe it's that black licorice note that I'm getting. So uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, looking to build a bourbon community. 
Uh, keep searching for that perfect pour, guys.